Hey guys, Sandy McKenzie here from the Lumber Mill. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't joined my channel before, uh, the Lumber Mill has, we have a sawmill, so we have lots of wood. And in this channel, I show you how to do DIYs, usually using leftover wood. Um, something you can do, like a wood craft or something you can do with your leftover wood or what you could use your wood for, but not all the time. Um, I also like to um, do a lot of thrifting, trash to treasure. So I like to do like, uh, I'm gonna be flipping some furniture and doing it my style. So I like to throw a lot of paint at it and a lot of water. I'm definitely a water baby. And I also like to um, draw and paint and do crafts. Uh, I'm kind of torn. I like to do crafts, but I also like to do art. Like, so yeah, you'll see it all here. And it's mainly woodworking. Um, as soon as the weather changes, we're going to get out there. And it's a nice night out there. It's not too bad. It was kind of clouded over today, not as sunny as yesterday. So yesterday was a nicer day. Not so much today. But um, yeah, so we're going to. Um, so thanks for coming on this journey with me and hopefully you're going to learn lots. So tonight um, I am going to, oh, thank you for the thumbs up already. I uh, missed the last couple of nights. Oh, that's, a, that's okay, uh, Chris, you're here tonight. So tonight I'm going to paint this flower. I started drawing it and on a flower, I'm just kind of saying this out loud to remind myself Oh, thanks for the thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate you supporting my channel. Um, you want to kind of go from general to specific. You want to remember your um, principles of drawing, like your your circles and your sin, cinder, uh, cylinders, cylinders, your squares. And then you also want to remember your highlights and your lowlights. And sometimes when I get... Sometimes when I get going, I, I forget that I, I'm a big, huge journal person. I love to doodle and do art journaling. And sometimes I just go back to my, like, you know, just a no brainer. Like I just don't even want to think about shading and highlighting. I just want to do a little shape and add a bunch of color to it and just kind of goof around. So sometimes when I'm on here, I get into that habit. So tonight, I am going to, I'm going to remember that, so say the light's coming from this side, so up here would be highlighted, and I've got some, uh, I've got some white charcoal going on, it's coming from this direction, so that reminds me, and then I like to use like a purple or a blue or something for, for the shadow, and I'm just going to remind myself that, hey, this is in shade, and don't forget that, that that's in shade. And then the layers will be really nice because uh, when you start to layer it, it'll be really nice and it'll remind you and you'll see the darks and lights coming in. Really beautiful, I love it. Yay, you're so easy, Jocelyn. Like I haven't even started yet. Okay, so here I'm going to uh, angle you down and I think I'm gonna zoom in tonight. Oh, what the heck? I'll zoom in from this side so. Okay, maybe not. Ah, man, zoom in. Okay, no, I'm not gonna zoom in. There we go. I just had to, uh, I had to go the other way. Who knew you had to zoom horizontal? So there you can see it. And I'm gonna remember these low lights and highlights because I just reminded myself and I like to thin down my paint. Um, actually, I'll talk about the background. So this is an old piece of wood. It's uh, a two by six, and I just cut it square. I think a two by six, um, the actual me measurements are like five and three quarters, so I cut it five and three quarters. So it's five and three quarters by five and three quarters. When it's a, when it's a six, a one by six is in a full one by six. 
So here we go. And then um, for the background, I used um, a bunch of white and just a little bit of yellow. Um, I just used some basics. Uh, these are not, these are what's on sale. This one, this one was reduced to uh, $2.49, regular $9.99, it's Liquitex. And everything that was reduced that day to $2.49, I bought every color. I don't, I don't understand why, like it went from $9.99 to $2.49, but hey, I'll take it. And then this one was De La Rowney and it was probably out of need. I always need white. So, um, so yeah, that one I probably bought, bought out of need and I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I've got my, I'm going to put it, this is going to be my palette and I'm going to, the opposite of yellow is purple. So a purple, a purple would make this pop and I think I'm going to do like um, a real deep deep purple shadow color and this is dioxin purple so I'll and it's already liquidy and I just need a couple drops so I'll do that for the sh shadow and then I'm going to I'm gonna layer it so this is what is this? This is um, Sienna, Burnt Sienna. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Burnt Sienna out. And um, I've said before, I really like Floetrol. It helps your acrylics um, flow better. And uh, this is uh, Floetrol. And come on in and ask questions and comment and and uh, Donna Simmons is here and she says, hi Sandy, finally back catching you live. Chris is loving the background. Jocelyn said it's beautiful, I love it. So thanks for joining me guys. And here's my favorite, uh, these are all my, these are all my favorites. They're my favorite. It's, it's a roly poly. Um, I can have all my paintbrushes in one spot. This is, these are my favorites. If it's in a bucket, it's not my favorite, but if it's in this, oh yeah, it's my favorite. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna use this, uh, it's gonna look like crap at first. I've got my basics um, down. And what I'm doing is, I'm just doing a little bit of a like a shadow area I'm just kind of shading with my and you'll see that and you'll go oh that's really ugly but that's the underpants that's like wearing Spanx you gotta sometimes you gotta wear those real ugly underwear and then so it's form-fitting and it looks good so that's the under painting and then the other color I like to do um, I like to use the um, yellow ochre and that'll be where the lights are maybe a little bit of yellow ochre and I like to mix colors too so I like to use the yellow ochre and the white and then at the very end the white and blacks always make everything pop so don't be afraid to use white and blacks but I'm going to um, mix a little bit of Mix a little bit of that white and uh, that white and yellow ochre. And that that's just reminds me again that, uh, okay, that's where my, my lights are going to be, my highlights. Um, I might even go, even at the tips, I might even go lighter at the tips and it'll graduate down to the, to the low light. So there you go and then this is going to be the stem a lot of it's going to be so the lights coming over here this is going to be in shadow still 
but probably this side will be hit by the light. So you have to remember that. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna grab some greens. I um, still haven't found my real dark, dark green. I'm, I'm still struggling and I didn't, I didn't wanna pick that green that exploded me on me the other night. It's like, oh yeah, it's ready to explode again. But I didn't pick that green. Um, so what I've got is on this, I, you can see where I've got underneath. I, you can see I've got my highlight and my low light. And I'm going to dip my paintbrush in. One side is green and the other side has some white. And I'm just going to go up the stem. And it didn't, I didn't have... It's a very small brush, so I didn't have very much green. So I'm just gonna go up this side with a green. So there you can you can see like underneath you can see the highlights and then underneath you'll see a little bit of the uh, sienna poking through for for the low lights for the shade. And then I might even go, um, well, later on I'll add some, I'll add some, the final, you'll, you'll see later on. Okay, so with this, I'm going to use a little bit of this green again and go in with some leaves. bit of a darker green I um I grab my I grab my golden I grab my sap green hue and I don't usually use my artist grade when I'm goofing around like this but but hey I can't find my dark green and I just have to use it so this dark green I'll just put on my shaded side so what are you guys up to tonight what are you uh how's your day been going it's been a long it's been a long haul with this virus and so many things changing and it's just stressful um it's stressful and uh yeah who knows what's going on and it's changing by the minute So there you go. I've got my stem pretty much done. And then I've got some some flowers in here. You'll see that I've just started that pattern going. And Spanx, yes, Spanx. We all need some Spanx in our life, Jocelyn. Well, not you, you're as skinny as a rail. I need some Spanx in my life. What am I trying, like, yeah, who am I kidding? It's me that needs it. Um, so I might add some white in here and some greens. Okay. And then I think I'm going to add some of this dark green. I kind of want to carry that through so it's consistent and you can see a little bit of greens in there every once in a while. And I need a, I need a, oh, I got a dark, dark out. Okay, I need a small paintbrush. I need to separate some of these lines. I'm going to go in with a dry brush and I just want this to have a little bit of shape. Get some shape in here. Maybe I'll do a whimsy line through here. Okay. 
So here it's starting to form now. You can see underneath the petals is going to be really dark. And then I've got the uh, form of the flower going. And I'm going to put some of this in here. I'm going to bring some of this shadow into the bottom here. And I'm just kind of dotting and making, I'm making, um, I'm just kind of dotting and, and going with, uh, going with the form. I'm trying to get some motion that you get, like, you get the roundness of it. Like this. This in here, I've put some lines and I got it going so you get the flow of it and the motion. And even if you can't see it, your you'll 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 um your eye will pick it up. Like even if you can't um like if it's not like a solid line or anything, your eye will pick it up. Okay, so this flower, um I think I'm gonna do it in Maybe, maybe a blue flower. So I think I'm gonna do it in a blue and white. And then I'll do some, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a blue and white. So I'm going to, maybe I'm gonna take a bigger brush. So I'm gonna take an angle brush, or it's not an angle brush, it's kind of, it's not really, a, it's like a flat round one. And I'm going to dip one side in the blues and one side in the white. And the white, um, I want, I want some um, whites like really near the top. And because it's I might just stroke this right through the hole. So that's what I have so far. And I still have to go more, but I wanted to I wanted to show you how I did the two colors. So I'm going to dip again and I'm going to go again and I don't blend them. Well, I do blend them, but I don't mix so that's another coat. And then I'm going to um, take my, take my smaller brush and I'm gonna add some whites. And then I'm gonna add some blue. Uh, down by the base is gonna be bluer. It's gonna be lighter at the top and that one side where I've got my my light my light source is coming from. And then I've got some that are in shadow. So down at the bottom it's gonna be in shadow, in shade. And I'm going to add some of this shaded purple. Ooh, that's dark, but it's beautiful. Um, so you can see what's going on there. So. I've got some blues and some purples, and uh, I've got some highlights and some shade. And then I need something to bring it back. I need some whites and I need maybe a touch of yellow. Um, it'll look good with this yellow because the background is yellow. Maybe a little bit of orange. And uh, I've got I've got that yellow ochre out 
and I've got oh, this little bit of orange this one oh, I'll just use this yellow I'll um, mix them Ooh, comes out so much so much um, so I'm just going to mix this and add some I want some Um, I'm not sure where my stipple, I haven't really looked to tie the tooth, but I have a stippler, but you can just use the end of your paintbrush and I'm just going to dip it in the yellow, the yellow and the white, and then I'm just going to put some dots in here. I just want, I just want some, uh, texture and some color that's going to be the inside of the flower and that side is going to be where the sun hits it and the other side is going to be the other side is where the shade is going to hit it and then I say and then a lot don't I so this side is shaded. So that's what I have. I'm going to take my liner brush and I'm just very loosely, I'm gonna roll it in thin paint and very loosely I'm going to, I usually wait till it dries but Oh well. Just gonna make some lines. And I also like to use my um I really like I really like my uh fountain pens but on the wood sometimes it catches and it sometimes it's kind of finicky so that's why I kind of went with this idea tonight instead so that just gave it a bit more definition and it made it pop a bit Okay, well, I think I've, uh, what time is it? 6.30. Um, I might add, it's pretty wet right now, um, but I might take my pencil and just add a couple more petals. I feel like it's not coming out far enough or it's not. I feel like I gotta add another petal. I'm just gonna quickly add it with this blue, some white, and this one's gonna be drooping down. And this one's gonna be maybe drooping that way, maybe one that way. in shadow down there. This one's definitely in the shadow. But I need those to Yeah, I 
I think that looks better. I just got to outline it. You guys are quiet tonight. So quiet. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing the next couple of days. I really don't know. I guess whatever I feel like it. So there. I'm going to um, zoom you out. In, out. Oh, man. There we go. You don't need to see a big face. So that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little purple flower. And it has a bunch of detail. And, uh, yeah, I hope you give it a try. Um, I'm pretty excited. Chris, uh, Chris Thompson's on here. And she got some birdhouses made for her. So when she gets those done, make sure you share with us, Chris. That would be awesome. I've got some more birdhouse ideas coming up. So I'm in the works of making them. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some more birdhouses. And yeah, some more wood burning, drawing, painting. Um, just winging it. This stuff is more like um, a lot of the stuff I would be doing in my journal. So I don't really have a game plan. I'm just kind of winging it, see whatever I feel like. And I hope you're enjoying this journey. Thanks for sharing. And uh, thanks for coming in here. And uh, I hope you're getting something out of it. Love ya. Love ya. Bye.